Hello everyone, this is Ben with ERP Connect Consulting and in today's video we're going to walk you through how to use our advanced notifications extension within Business Central. So the first thing you'll want to do after downloading our extension is come up here to the search and start typing in advanced notifications. Uh, we can go to this setup window which is where we'll want to start. And the first thing you'll want to do is generate that demo key. Generating that demo key will give you 30 days unrestricted access for free to our extension, after which if you enjoy using it and you'd like to use it going forward, you can reach out to us to provide an activation key. We provide both a one year as well as a perpetual license for advanced notifications currently. So. After you have that set up, we are ready to get into the setup. Um, a few things that you'll wanna understand is obviously the process that advanced notifications is gonna allow you to enhance or do within Business Central, right? So what this extension is gonna allow us to do is create both advanced notes in the user interface, as well as send email notifications to both Business Central and non-Business Central users by tagging them within our advanced notifications areas on transactions as well as master data. So this is a very powerful tool to help streamline communications for key tasks and activities without ever having to leave Business Central by tagging those users uh, or user groups within Business Central and automating the emails or the notifications that are being created or need to have action taken on them. So we'll get into the setup and then we'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and how those emails work and what you can embed in those notifications. So first let's go over the setup so the setup's going to include for the notification piece emails advanced notes both or nothing so if you do none it's just going to disable this function or feature if you do email it's going to send an email notification out when this event occurs if you do an advanced note it's going to create an advanced note in the user interface when this event occurs and if you do both it's going to send both an email and create an advanced note anytime this action takes place so when i say this action i'm talking about what we have down here on the left hand side so for example if i look at sales order shipment if i'm the salesperson tagged to the sales order shipment anytime a shipment goes out that has my name on it i'm going to get an email and an advanced note so we're not tagging anybody we're just setting myself up as a salesperson and anytime this action is taken uh, i'll get a notification so that i can keep up with what's going on for orders that i'm assigned to so this is going to work similarly both on the purchasing and the sales side so we have purchase receipts sales order shipments prepayments and approvals that's everything here down the left hand side Anytime those events take place, if you're the salesperson or the purchaser tagged to one of these, you're gonna get an email and you're gonna get uh, see an advanced note in the user interface. Over here on the right side, we have notifications around negative inventory and inventory adjustments. So we have the same options for emails, advanced notes, both or none. And on the negative inventory side, basically any time an item's inventory dips down into the negatives, it's gonna send an email to whoever you have on file here. Similarly with the adjustments, anytime you create an adjustment that's outside the threshold, this person, whoever you have set up here, is gonna get either an email or an advanced note depending on what you have set up here in the user interface. Uh, in order to set these up, you'll either need to be a Business Central user or in the email groups, uh, you can set up additional groupings of people who need to get uh, these items. So when we're tagging people, I can tag the sales team or I can tag any Business Central users that currently exist. Uh, if it's external to someone within Business Central, just make sure that you check this checkbox here to allow those emails to go out. The last thing we need to look at for these notifications on the salesperson is uh, what they're gonna be enabled for. So in this case, I've got everything turned on. Uh, this is salesperson by salesperson. So if for some reason you don't want a salesperson or a purchaser to see something, you can turn SO approvals off or you can turn prepayment posts uh, off and say do not notify. This is just kind of another layer of security or another layer of configuration that you can utilize to determine who receives notifications versus who doesn't. So again, the important differentiator here is that anything in our advanced notifications is gonna be based on who the salesperson or purchaser is over here. It's gonna be based on who's set up in the inventory section here. And then our advanced notes, which we're gonna show here in a second where we're actually tagging people in transactions and master data, that's gonna be based specifically on who you tag. Uh, and that's just gonna send them out emails or notifications depending on who's tagged. 
before we get into actually going through a demo, the last thing I wanna talk about is the Azure Blob Storage. So within our uh, notes that we're gonna create on our transactions and master data, uh, we can embed images and links and really anything we can think of into that notification so that people can take quick action on whatever we're taking notes on, right? Business Central currently only allows you to store 80 gigabytes before charging additional fees for storage. So what we set up here is a link to Azure Blob Storage. And if you turn this on and configure your Azure, Azure Blob Storage here, what you can do is it will then offload these images and pictures and any content from this extension into your Blob Storage to allow for, um, you know, not bogging down your Business Central instance with the additional storage for this extension. So another good tool to use. And after this setup is complete, you can now go ahead and uh, start to utilize some of these functions. So we're going to demo a sales order shipment today, uh, both automated from a posting standpoint that this salesperson will get the emails and the advanced notes. And we'll also put an additional note on the transaction itself so that you can see what those emails look like with some embedded images. So let's jump into that. I'm going to come up here to a sales order. We'll just create a brand new one and we'll pick my first customer. We'll sell them a computer and we'll sell it for, let's do $300. And all of that's just out of box functionality, right? We're just setting up a sales order. But what you'll notice over here on the right side is we have this advanced notes section now under the attachments tab in the fact box, right? If I click this attachments drop down and click add note, this is a new screen that now you're seeing, right? So within this screen, I can tag people or groups. And when those groups or people are tagged, it's going to send an email notification to that person. And it's going to say exactly what you have or whatever images you have embedded here. So let's just go at Ben. All right. So Ben, uh, please take a look at this sales order and complete shipping and invoicing, right? And we're selling them a computer monitor. So let's go ahead and copy an image in here. And that looks like a nice computer monitor. We'll save that and we'll close it. So two things are gonna happen now because we enabled them, right? Anytime I come into the sales order, so let's get out and let's come back in. Anytime I come into the sales order, now I'm seeing that advanced note that was created. Ben, please take a look, right? And I've got my image embedded. And what it also did is it sent me an email and that email is gonna look like this. It's gonna say, Ben, please take a look at the sales order and complete shipping and invoicing. And it has the image that I just embedded in that note as well as a link to open the page. So if I go ahead and click this, you'll notice I opened a new tab in my sandbox and that tab should give me my document right here. Awesome, so we got our, uh, we got our sales order here for that computer monitor and we have our advanced notification over here uh, that's storing it directly within the user interface. So some really cool stuff here to notify people and really streamline some tasks, right? You don't have to get out and go into your email, write up an email and copy the link. You can just tag someone directly in there and it's gonna send them both the images that you've embedded, the comments, as well as a link to open the document and finish the processing. So I got this now. Uh, my instructions were to finish the sales order and finish the shipment. Um, as well as the invoice, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come in here and click post and post. I'm gonna ship and invoice this at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and click there. And what you'll notice here in a second, okay, pretty standard. I don't wanna see that. Let's just go back to the home page. Um, I'm getting a few emails that I'll drag over here. So the first one is a sales order shipment alert. So I can see here, because I had that turned on and I was tagged as the salesperson in the transaction, I'm getting a alert here via email that says that sales order shipment was sent and this was the number and here's the link again if I wanna open that. I also got another notification because we have a negative inventory alert. So um, if you remember, we had that set up. If I come back into my advanced notifications, if I come into the setup, I have anytime uh, the inventory goes negative, send an email and an advanced note. The negative uh, inventory email is going to Ben at erpconsulting.com. That's me. And I come in here now and I go to negative inventory alert, item number 19999. That was my uh, item for that computer monitor that we had, has a sale for quantity negative one, caused the item to go negative, please review. So again, 
with just one transaction by setting myself up. And again, most likely this would be multiple people being set up. So different notifications are going to different folks. For demo purposes, I have everything going to myself, but you can start to see some of the power of these emails. Everything has a link embedded. Uh, earlier we had those images embedded that I showed as well. So pretty much text, images, uh, anything you're embedding, as well as a link to the transaction. All of those things are gonna be at your fingertips automated via email directly out of Business Central for everything we have set up here in the advanced notifications setup. So we've found this very useful for a lot of our clients to really help automate uh, some of the conversations that are happening within Business Central in the remote world that we live in today, uh, really helps streamline activities and keep uh, both kind of the the paper trail as well as the task list of what people are working on directly embedded within the user interface while also automatically emailing these things to the users so that they can easily and quickly transact with them. Uh, we all know that a lot of people live in our inboxes today and some people even use that as a to-do list. So this is a great tool to help facilitate that, especially with tasks and transactions that you're creating and utilizing within Business Central. So that's it for advanced notifications for today. Uh, we really appreciate your uh, feedback on our extension as we do with all of our extensions. If there's anything else that you'd like to see in this extension or a future extension, please feel free to reach out or drop it in the comments. Thanks again for watching today and we look forward to hearing from you soon.